What is up everybody? Today we are back on Minecraft and over the past couple of days I have been playing an absolute crap ton of battle mode and over that time I've come up with a couple of good tips and tricks that I think a lot of you guys could benefit from and really if you do correctly will guarantee your victory every single time. Now some of these tips are a little bit dirty, some of these tips are a little bit, you know, a little cheap. But basically, if you do them correctly, you're going to win every single time, but the difficult part is going to be actually doing them and doing them well. So my first tip, and probably the most obvious one that I could ever give you, is that you guys need to get one of those chests off of the very break. So the second that countdown finishes and you can start moving, you need to be booking for one of those chests and you need to instantly open it and push down the left bumper. Literally, this can make or break your entire game, okay? As I found over playing a bunch of battle mode games, basically the only chests that have good food in them or food that's going to be enough for you to survive are in those beginning chests, and if you don't get one of those your rate of survival drops drastically okay hunger in battle mode is an incredibly important piece it's probably just as important as running around and having good combat skills is being able to manage how much food you have and where your hunger bar is at and it seems like at least in my experience that the vast majority of the food on the entire map is in those chests that you see right off of the spawn. So if you don't get one of those chests, if you say miss your left bumper click and you don't pull anything out of the chest and you just get robbed, it's going to be a very, very tough game and you're going to start out with a major disadvantage versus everybody else. Now, after that, like I said, opening the chest, you need to make sure that you get something out of there and always, 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 every time you open any chest, push down the left bumper and take all. Every single time I look in the comments, I see people saying, wait, how do you take all the stuff out of the chest? How do you clear the chest that quickly? You just push down the left bumper and that is a skill that you need to get very, very good at, pushing down the left trigger and then the left bumper instantly after because if you don't push that, somebody else is going to and they're going to rob the entire chest from you and you are not going to get anything so my first two tips are make sure that you get a chest off of the start and then make sure that you take everything out now those might seem simple right those might seem like they're just basic tips and they really really are and really the next one is basic as well pay attention I cannot tell you how many times I've got kills on people who just don't hear you coming right this isn't call of duty this isn't one or two shots and the people are dead but it is such that one or two hits can make the difference between winning or losing even if you have a worse weapon right you can kill just about anybody in this game if you get a couple of good hits off on them in the back and so hitting people in the back is going to be like a major way of winning this game especially if you don't have good items or you don't get good chests and so that is really my major major tip pay attention so that people don't hit you in the back and pay just enough attention so that you can hit other people in the back because that is really the best way to get kills on this especially if you don't have good items now going into actual combat i cannot tell you how op fire aspect enchanted items are Oh my gosh, they are so strong. If you have a, a fire aspect enchanted pickaxe that is like wooden, right? You can beat somebody with like an iron, you know, just about anything because it is so, so, so strong, especially on the map. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one without any water on it, the one that's uh, in the nether with a bunch of lava. Especially on that map, fire aspect weapons are so strong. You hit them and then you back up and then you hit them again and you back up and the fire does a massive amount of damage to them and fire aspect weapons are OP. So basically what I'm recommending is that anytime you have any weapon that is fire aspect, I would use that over just about anything else you have in your inventory, primarily because it is so, so, so strong. A lot of the times when you hit people, you only get one good hit off and then you gotta wait, you know, uh, two or three seconds before you can hit them again. And if you have that fire aspect weapon, you're hitting them with with that you are doing damage that entire time and plus if, if if they have a better weapon than you especially you can hit them and then back off and then hit them again and back off and the fire is really going to do a lot of damage over time so use those fire aspect weapons they are so 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 strong now, the last and final tip that I have for all of you guys is to camp the chests, right? Right off of the bat, right? You need to run for those beginning chests and then get out of there and go. I like to run for, you know, the best chests, the highest tier chests, which generally are the ones that are furthest away from the spawn. On that map where you're in the cave, there's those chests on the very, very top right by the ceiling. Those chests always have amazing things in them. And so I, I pretty much always sprint directly for those. And if you can get those chests, you will have a massive advantage over everybody else. Now, like I just said a minute ago, you want to camp the chests, okay? When you find chests, your goal is not to then run around and kill other people unless you have super good items, right? If you get some good stuff and you have a massive advantage over everybody else, then by all means, go and finish everybody off and take your time. 
But make sure that if you come across some good chests and you think they're about to refill, that you wait around for those chests to refill because that is another incredible way to win this game, okay? If you can, if you are by a chest that refills and you get some good stuff, that is critical, especially if you are at the cornucopia, right? At about halfway through the game or three-fourths through the game when people are starting to wind down and it's getting down to the ultimate battles, basically who is going to win that deathmatch or who's going to win that showdown is going to be determined by who gets to that cornucopia or the chest race. Right there in the beginning first after they refilled because those chests always have a ton of good things in them and you really want to camp them and that's basically a foolproof way to win even if you don't get something good off of the spawn if you can survive long enough right if you can hide long enough from all of these people you can win every single time if you can get the chest refills before anybody else and that's really the pivot the pivotal thing here you if you want to win these games the way to win is not to go out and fight and kill everybody the way to win is to hide long enough until um until you can get a chest refill and actually get some good things especially if you uh if you don't have good items off of the break but along with that comes managing your hunger which like i said is probably the hardest thing in all of battle mode to get used to uh but when you do figure out the hunger bar when you figure out how to properly eat at the right times and not die um you will become an absolute legend because everybody's going to be starving and you're going to be doing a-ok -okay with a whole bunch of armor and things because you were camping those chests you were getting the good things and then you were killing off the people who were still alive and and that's basically how you win battle mode that's been my experience anyway basically every single time Time I have either gotten some good things off of the break or I get one of the good chests and I can camp it and defend it long enough for the game to refill it you basically win those games every single time because everybody else is running around trying to kill people, lowering their health, using up their food, throwing off their splash potions, and while you're just sitting around waiting for, you know, a chest to refill and then getting, you know, some super good things, maybe even that diamond chest plate uh, that you see people running around with sometimes. So, anyway, those are my battle mode tips. Those are kind of the things that I have come across when I've been playing through battle mode. If you guys have any useful tips, any, like, things you guys want to share about, you know, battle mode and how you guys win your games, leave those down below in the comment section. I would be glad to read through those, and maybe I'll make another like part two to this video where we talk about some more battle mode tips if you guys enjoyed this particular video make sure you guys leave me some love down below with a like and subscribe if you guys are new around here because i have tons and tons of minecraft console content coming out for you guys every single day as well as live streams for you guys to come out and play with me and really show me your skills in battle mode and totally destroy me if you're lots better than i am uh which is fairly common um i also do want to mention really quickly that i have been streaming over the past couple of days but that i do play with fans when i'm not streaming okay so i play every single time i play battle mode what i do is i create a lobby and i just let people join in so my gamer tags on both playstation and on xbox are pure dominance. It's spelled the exact same as my channel. If there's ever a lobby that's open that you guys can join, feel free to come in there. All of the people in the gameplay you are seeing in the background did that. They just joined into my game and they came and played with me. And uh, it's just really a blast. It's a great way to interact with fans. And this is probably my favorite update that we have ever gotten on Minecraft console. And I really, really love it. So I just wanted to mention that you guys can always come out and play with me if you guys are on when I am. If you guys want to know when I'm getting gameplays or when I'm playing battle mode and I'm not streaming, uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter over at pure dominance. There is a link down in the description uh, just to keep up to date with everything that is going on over there. This was a super long video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see all of you guys later.